What's up everybody? It's Meredith Shirkusville Training. I'm super excited because we've got a water bottle workout today for all of those who want to get a little bit more weight in your workouts. Just grab a water bottle. I've got Coach Gabby and she's been doing the workout while I explain it to you. So let's do it. The first exercise we're gonna be doing is a lateral raise. I'm gonna hand those to Gabby. Lateral raise, chest up and back, knees slightly bent. Good, rolling the tailbone under. And it's really about raising from here. Good, all the way up to the shoulders. Good, you got 30 seconds here. As you're pulling up, pull in your core, roll your tailbone under, tighten up, pull your arms back, chest up, good. Notice how she's really pressing through and she's gripping those water bottles so that we're getting a little bit more of the arms. Water bottles are, are great way to actually get a tiny bit more resistance, or soup cans. Soup cans are great too, or canned beans, anything like that. Good, as she's moving up, feeling in the front. Now, uh, lift your arms a little bit forward. Move, yeah, there we go, perfect. Try that, so it's gonna be a little bit more of your chest. Good, five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Good, now we're gonna do an oblique crunch. So, she's gonna be hands wide, and then reaching with her elbow to the wide part of the knee, good. Good, reaching wide. See how she's bent here in her legs? She's pulled under in her tailbone and she's really pulled up in her core, reaching with this elbow up to the sky. Good. Reaching the elbow up to the sky, making sure she's nice and even over her hips, really isolating the obliques here. So if you could see it, it would be like a piston on the side. You know what I mean? <laughs> Good, five seconds for really pulling the core, tighten up that rib cage. If you're not laughing, it's not fun, right? Three, two, one, and we're going lunges now. We're gonna go static lunges. So for you who have knee problems, I don't want you rotating back and forth going, you know, uh, alternating because it, you get out of balance. So we're gonna stay in a lunge position, almost like a piston up and down in that track. And you're gonna stay right where the water ball is just right by your side, chest is up, shoulders are back, and you're breathing. Good, in through the nose, out through the mouth, making it a repetitive motion so that you get into more of a robotic movement where you lock in the muscles that you're actually trying to activate. Good, let's go two more and then we're gonna switch sides. And then go ahead and switch. If you start to get uh, a little bit fatigued in your legs, what you can do is just stop for a second and shake them out. It's really just that lactic acid building up in your muscles, good. Notice how she's driving her knee down and it's coming straight down from her hip as her ankle is nice and stable and coming down with that front knee, good. Make her do about three more over here, getting sweaty, three, good, two, and one. Now we're going tricep pulses. So straight up and back, and I want you to notice that her hands are facing up and out, right? So just pressing back and squeezing, the tricep is just right behind the back of your arm, right below your armpit, okay? So really pulling back and squeezing. Now what I want you to do is come up and then just push out. Good, 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 good. Good, driving up with those triceps. Here we go, good, good, good. Nice, now back and forth. Crisscross, good. Five seconds, five, four, three, two, and one. Good work, now we're going Russian twist. <laughs> Down on the ground. Dude, those tricep pulses are great if you've got that kind of like that waving bat wing, right? That's really great for those to get. Next, you can get a Russian twist. Sitting, heels down, knees bent, butt down, tailbone rolled under, reaching from side to side, really locking in still that same oblique muscle that we use in oblique crunches. Feeling like you're reaching as far as you can, pushing this hip forward, your right hip forward as you reach, because you want to try and get a little bit more of that stretch, good. The more you stretch and use your muscle to full range of motion, the more hypertrophy, which means more muscle growth you're actually gonna have. Good, five seconds here. Four, three, if you need to, you can also lift your legs. It'll give you a little bit harder of a, of a go. Good, and down. Now we're going straight leg crunches. The last exercise to blast your body with the water bottles. Reaching up, good, and reach, good. Just touch the top of to the toes and she's really breathing, <sighs> compress your spine as you come up and compress your core. Really come up and reach up with your hands, reach and extend. Good, you're compressing and getting a full range of motion in another muscle, which helps to kind of pull at opposing directions. Good, three more, three, two, and one, and go feet down for a second, give you a bonus exercise here. So now you're gonna take the water balls and you're gonna reach them towards your toes. 
keep them off the ground. So a little, we've done these before, but it's a little bit better because you got a little bit of weight and you can really pressure inside, top, top, top of your core to close out in the rib cage. Good, 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, good, four, pull it down, three, two, and one. Woo, nice work for a water bottle workout. Thank you so much, Coach Gabby. I didn't wanna be sweating my butt off for you guys right here. So I'm gonna drink a little bit of water. Celebratory hydration. Exactly. So if you wanna use a water bottle, go ahead, either grab a soup can, grab beans, grab water, whatever you wanna do. Click the next video and we'll see you guys on the next one.